Okay. Let's start with linear algebra. We will go through each and every basic definitions in this lecture to make the base for the other ones. So, what is the vector? In the like uh, the basic definition that we learned in school was that it has a magnitude and it has a direction. For like uh, for like this, if this is the arrow and it is uh, pointing towards a point, so this would be a vector. Now another another I can say definition is how it tells how far we can go in each direction okay so if it if let's assume my vector is 2 comma 3 so it it is basically telling me that i need to go i need to go two units towards the east and three units towards the north for me to reach this point in a space so that is a vector now what is a matrix matrix is basically a rectangular arrangement of rows and columns but apart from that basic definition it is a collection of vectors now you can see here i have two rows and three columns okay so if i consider each column like if i have three columns and if i consider each of this column as vectors so it is a collection of three column vectors so i can represent them as like this like randomly i'm assigning the vectors so it is basically the uh, collection of three column vectors uh, represented or articulated together now comes the heart and soul of the linear algebra that is ax you might have uh, studied about it in the school in the school times ki ax equals to b now what exactly it is and what does the a matrix does to a vector now if i multiply these two together i am assuming ki x is a column vector and a is some matrix so what exactly my ax would give so for that let's uh, come to a very basic example like like let's relate them to a very basic one ki let's assume ki my x is a variable and a is some function so a, what exactly it would do is uh, a is some function if i throw in some value of x as an input it would give me some output that's that's what functions do ki i give in some value and they throw in some value to me so that's exactly what a is doing to a column vector x so if i'm assuming like this is my vector x and uh, a is basically a function which is uh, doing a linear transformation on vector x okay what exactly does this means is ki if i uh, if this is my vector x okay and uh, what exactly it is doing is it is doing some linear transformation it could either shrink it down or it could stretch this vector or it could also rotate it like this it's basically doing a linear transformation on this vector a more intuitive example that i could take here is you already know how to do the uh, multiplication of two matrices like it's of matrices this is matrix of two cross two and this is of two cross 2 cross 1 and 2 cross 2 what exactly is the condition for matrices to up, uh, uh, multiply ki the number of columns needs to be equal to the number of rows these are the two columns and these are the two rows so if they are equal uh, uh, we can multiply them together and i'm also getting uh, uh, an output vector of dimension 2 now here uh, i first need to make this clear ki uh, if i need to represent uh, in, an input vector let's say any vector of a dimension 2 here it is it has two components so i would be requiring a 2d plane to represent this vector okay so in this case i'm getting the same dimension of the output vector as the input vector but in uh, but it's not necessarily true for all the cases like for the below one i am uh, giving a three dimensional input vector and in resultant i'm getting a two dimensional vector okay so it uh, in this case meko abhi to 2d vector hi mil rahe, but uh, in the below one you can see ki the dimensions of the output vectors can change as well so uh, this is if this is my vector and uh, if i take more intuitive example for this uh, where is it? like if i Okay, this is not helping. Uh, if I take this vector, I am taking this vector and uh, let's assume I am taking, like this is my vector 1, 2, assume. 
so if i do the basic multiplication if you can do it by yourself you would realize that what you are getting here is 2 cross 1 so basically it is the this uh this ve this vector is the reflection of this vector on the line y equals to x so this much you understand i guess ki this is basically is giving the reflection or swapping the two components so that is how the a function does the linear transformation on vector is it's a very basic example of what it does it does so many more things than that that we will be seeing later on but it is a very important topic of like what exactly ax is uh, uh now as you can see i earlier earlier on said ki uh, this is my input vector it is of dimension n as you can see like uh, this is 3 my columns are 3 and uh, for me to have uh, for me to apply i need to have three components here so basically uh, i would be requiring a 3 comma 1 vector and uh, in resultant i would be getting a 2 cross 1 uh, vector so what exactly it is doing is it is uh, doing a linear transformation from r n uh, uh, r of dimension n like this is of uh, three dimension so it is transforming the input vector of three dimension to the output vector of two dimension so it basically is doing the linear transformation from three dimension input vector to two dimension input vector that is the basic definition of what a matrix does now let's move towards the basic definition of the later on ones jaise first of all we have vector space a space now what is a vector space a space where vectors can either be multiplied for example if i take any vector okay and i scale it by with some i scale it with some scalar or by any constant and i get this vector this much you understand ki how did this happen let's assume i took u and i scaled it with some vector and i got okay i basically got cu like this is my cu vector like the resultant one so it also exists in this space only and uh, let's assume i take another of vector let's assume v this is my vector v so the addition of these two vectors my addition of these two vectors would also result in a vector that would also b in the space only like uh, the vector space is the generalized notion or it provides the space for these operations to happen so what exactly vector space consists of so vector space uh, you can say is a tuple of vectors and a field now what is field field is basically the scalars and the operations that we are doing on these vectors like the c and the plus all of these consist uh, like comes under field only uh, so yeah vector space is the tuple of the vectors and the field now next one is the subspace okay subspace a uh, bahut hi basic definition hai ki uh, let's assume a vector space which is a subset of some other larger vector space okay so my this is my vector space which which is a subset of some other larger vector space so what was the vector space where you can either do uh, you uh, you can add some vectors or you can scale uh, scalar you can do scalar multiplications on them so this is my vector space and uh, basically if it's a subset of some other larger vector space so that would be called a subspace a subspace is any vector space where addition and scalar multiplication can be performed on any vector and the resultant should stay in the subspace only now now if i do it's uh, it's uh, so far it has been the same as the vector space matlab jo definition vector space ki thi wohi definition subspace ki hai now the necessary condition here is necessary condition for the subspace is ki it should always and by mean always i mean ki it should always contain zero vector now how do i prove this ki it only contains जीरो फैक्टर कि एज आई टोल्ड यू अर्लियर कि जो अगर मैंने किसी स्केलर से मल्टीप्लाई किया सो द रिजल्टेंट शुड ऑल्सो स्टे इन दैट स्पेस ओनली सो लेट्स अज्यूम आई मल्टीप्लाइड माई वी वैक्टर दिस इज माई 
okay this is this is my v vector and i uh, multiplied with zero okay so if i multiplied it with if I multiplied it with zero, so it would come out, it would come to origin. So uh, regardless of what vector I take, if I multiply it with zero, it would come to origin only. So it should always contain the origin. Okay. So if I multiply any vector with zero vector, it would give zero vector only and it should always contain in the subspace. So that is the necessary condition for a space to be a subspace. Okay. So uh, that uh, zero vector should be contained in the subspace. Okay, मतलब ये थोड़ा सा I think ज़्यादा अच्छे से समझ आएगा in the column space. So if I move uh, आगे towards the column space, the column space is the set of all possible linear combination. Column space क्या होता है कि these are my column vectors. Okay, these are my column vectors. I have mapped them here. मतलब अभी तो randomly I have mapped them as in yoga but if i map them and i take all possible linear combination of these two okay uh, if i take all possible combination of these two i would be getting a 2d plane okay uh, matlab, regardless of how many uh, combinations i take first of all why have i uh, mapped this on the 3d plane this much i think everybody understands that by now because my vector my column vector has three components and for me to represent this point i would be requiring three coordinate axes x y z and that is why i have mapped this here but uh, still regardless of uh, how where i have mapped it i have only two column vectors here right uh, I have this uh, where which I have mapped here and this one it uh, regardless of what linear combinations I take it would still be covering a 2d space so I can say that my column space uh, is a span uh, is spanning to a 2d two dimensional plane uh, which is a subspace and it is existing like this whole 2d plane is existing in the 3d space so it is a subspace of r r3 right because uh, like the dimensionality of my column vector is three, but uh, it is it it has it it's only able to cover a 2D plane. Now that too is only has been possible because these two have been linearly independent. Now let's assume if I would have taken some other uh, vectors which would have been linearly independent. For example, if I take one comma two and uh, uh, 2 comma 4 both of these are uh, two vectors and uh, since they both lie in the same line and regardless I have two vectors this time right even if I have two vectors this time still they have only been able to cover this line like it passes through origin which is fine it should contain like the subspace should contain the zero vector but still it is only covering the uh, this is only covering this line uh, it could only span uh, throughout this line right uh, but uh, for it to cover the whole 2D space, it should have been linearly independent. So the necessary two conditions for uh, uh, this. Uh, first of all, the first of all that it should have m minimum m number of vectors and all of them should be linearly independent okay independent. what is wrong with me and uh, minimum make first of all mother other if even if i had also i wanted to note this point down let's assume even if i had like let's assume ki if i had two more columns here मतलब मेरे पास दो और कॉलम्स होते हैं एंड दे ऑल मतलब बट स्टिल दैट डजन नेसेसरीली मीन कि इट वुड कवर समहाउ कवर फोर डायमेंशनल स्पेस आई डोंट थिंक कि मतलब आई लाइक आई वुड ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन व्हाई कि मतलब इवन इफ आई हैड टू मोर वेक्टर्स हियर लेट्स अज्यूम सो इज दैट पॉसिबल कि वो किसी तरह फोर स्पेस कवर कर सकते द आंसर इज नो बिकॉज द कॉम्पोनेंट्स दैट आई हैव द नंबर ऑफ कॉम्पोनेंट्स दैट आई हैव is of three like i only have three components here in my column vector like my vector only has three components so regardless of how many vectors i add in here and even though they are linearly independent it still couldn't increase its dimensionality 
like uh, it sh uh, it would always be of dimension 3 like my column space is uh, is always going to be a subspace of r uh, 3 r m regardless of how many column vectors i had here because i only have three components here matlab my vector only has three components in the x y and z direction so regardless of how many vectors i add here it could still uh, cannot increase its dimensionality matlab it cannot cover a four space and uh, uh, and it could only cover a minimum of 3d space even only if they are linearly independent then only like i explained here ki agar wo linearly independent hote to what happens is ki it loses dimensionality kyunki wo dono ek dusre se matlab they are correlated to each other so it when this happens to hota kya hai ki it loses its dimensionality degree of freedom so Uh, in that case, uh, so two necessary condition here is it should e minimum have m number of vectors and all of them should be linearly independent. Like this was the case uh, I wanted to discuss. Like this is the most important one to see how exactly like uh, from here onwards we would be moving towards the rank and all. So us uh, us topic me it becomes very important that how does the linearly dependency of some vectors define the like the space that it is covering, right? So uh that is the main reason ki what exactly happens here ki it uh, the uh, it basically uh, uh, defines the it basically determines the dimensionality the linearly dependency of the vectors uh, determines the dimensionality of the column space so it could uh, maximum go to m and uh, that to only when they are linearly independent and i have minimum of m vectors so that's about it that's uh, this is all we studied is what is a vector what is a matrix what does a into x means what is a vector space what is a subspace which is a vector space but a, subsp a subset of some other vector space and a column space uh, this is exactly a subset matlab subspace i gave you this example ki how can a uh, space like a how can a space could be a subspace of some other vector space here we studied ki this uh, this is forming a plane and it is a subspace of r3 so yeah